Hello? Yes, students, are you all there? Good afternoon, ma'am. How are you all? Fine, ma'am. Yeah. Today, we are going to revise uh, a few things on soft skills that we have already done. Um, I want to discuss on the mainly on the question that you will be asked. What are the differences between soft skills and hard skills? Define soft skills, define hard skills, and uh, define their differences. What are the differences? Why is the need of soft skills? Why do engineers need soft skills? Is it essential in our daily life? What is the difference between a person who has soft skills along with his, his or her hard skills? So is it essential why there is a need? Do we ever have to skill ourselves with soft skills or is it okay? Is it uh, going to be sufficient if we are having only hard skills? We are going to discuss this in this segment of uh, the class of uh, English for communication. Okay, let me share the screen with you first. Why so many screens are appearing? Introduction to soft skills, are you able to see? Yes, somebody respond. Yes, ma'am. So you can say that, no? Sitting here, no, idle. Huh? Don't hesitate to talk. How we are doing? Okay. So, what are soft skills actually? If someone asks, we are learning soft skills in the soft skills class, what will you say? These are some of the personal characteristic, character traits or qualities each one of us has. They make us who we are. Actually, who we are is defined by the uh, amount of soft skills that we have. Generally, encompassing our attitudes, our habits, how we interact with other people, how to talk to them, how to maintain cordial relationships with others, how to be attentive, how to be a good listener, how to listen to anybody, how to be empathetic towards their feelings, okay, how to listen, okay, and how to do time management. All these things encompasses our habits, uh, how our mannerisms, how we behave with each other, are we polite, are we humble to others when we are talking to them? Are we having a smiling face on our uh, smiling a smile on our face? Hmm? Are we frowning? All these. Hey. Uh, in intonation that we use when we are the pitch of our voice, the rhythm and rhyme, the rhythm of our voices. All these tell us about how much of soft skills that we are. Uh, I mean, making use of in our daily life. These are the habits uh, and how we interact with other people. These are all the, also the abilities that make people better employees, better human beings, I would say rather, rather than employees. And uh, rather than uh, talking about any particular uh, branch or...
of how we nurture ourselves for the for ourselves our own benefit and for uh, for sustaining in the society uh, would anybody i mean if there are two persons one is very rough in talk and the other one is very polite and humble whom do you like more of course we like the person who is more humble more polite and uh, who is giving ears to us who is lending his ears his or her ears to us who is listening to us who is uh, keeping up their word if they say they are going to come at 5 o'clock they are if they are i mean having time management if they are uh, giving importance to time they say that if i am coming by 5 o'clock they are there at 5 o'clock that is keeping up with time keeping up their word managing time and also their ability to keep up the word is all about this. so to get him or her another uh, organized to communicate in written as well as in spoken forms by uh, soft skills have been defined by world health organization as the abilities for adaptive and positive behavior that enables individuals to deal with the demand and challenges of everyday life it the, if if you have such skills you will be uh, i mean prepared for the demands or the challenges that the society is posing on us in everyday life what what is the society expecting of us we need to perform our best give our best and wait for the wait for the results unicef defines soft skills as a behavioral change behavior change or behavior development approach designed to address a balance of this uh, includes psychosocial abilities and interpersonal skills that help people take decisions if you have soft skills you will learn to have some decisions decision making power is gained through soft skills you even solve your problems because you can think critically why does it happen when because you are able to communicate effectively very many a times what happens is when you communicate so many issues are solved so many problems are solved just because you have communicated the problem uh, with people what are soft skills and what are hard skills if someone asks what do you know about hard skills that is your technical knowledge that is the for example computer knowledge or microsoft offices knowledge analytical knowledge marketing knowledge for mba students presentation skills uh, management skills project management writing skills language skills design skills all these certification all these skills come under the uh, hard skills to be precise all those skills that take you till the interview when you are looking for a job uh, in the newspaper in your classified the hard skills will fetch you a job but how to i mean till you go to the interview 
that skill hard skill is helping you but how to give an interview how to pass an interview and how to keep up the job is taken by the soft skills if you have good soft skills you will be able to uh, sustain your job well you will be effectively communicating with your co-workers team building uh, skills are there leadership skills are uh, there if a, if a person is having soft skills okay but the skills uh, that you are having um wait 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 a minute your occupation that is your btech degree that your ece for example uh, you are working with the computers that is your hard skills okay uh, so the to work in any, any occupation you need to need what are referred to as soft skills so, did i change the slides to handle interpersonal relationships this is all about soft skills let me tell you something about hard skills as well yeah most organizations require that those who work in them have certain abilities that allow them to do their jobs effectively yes if a photographer is there for example he must understand how different cameras uh, settings and lighting affect the picture that he or she is taking computer programmers need to languages this is your hard skill hard skills or technical skills and uh, to learn them one usually enrolls in some sort of educational program that like you have entered into a btech degree where they receive classroom instruction and often uh, you practice practical training as well however uh, when you come to your occupation you also need what is referred to as soft skills they are also called as life skills or social skills in other words they are opposed to they are opposite to your hard skills as i told you before that uh, your hard skills will take you till the interview but your soft skills will uh, tell you how to perform an interview what are the things that you should do how to uh, present yourself before during and after the interview those duties your preparations uh, okay and how you present yourself all these things are taught and after having how to be polite hmm? g3 mute your audio so these greatly impact the personality development of any individual as i told you before to be a good employee you need to be first a good human being uh, people organizations and uh, your prospective employees uh, employers recognize you with this kind of uh, good habits today they recognize that the professional development of their employees play a significant uh, an important part in maintaining relationship with their uh, customers clients and also their suppliers coworkers and um, how they develop their uh, business for the successful development of the business how to deal with their customers this is taught uh, at the at the organizational level in which uh, soft skills prove a, a great help okay the sooner or the relevant soft skills are learned and developed the better 
so it is essential right at the beginning itself if you are well versed with the soft skills how to maintain interpersonal skills how to be assertive in your job how to perform your duties and how to be a leader okay noise ma'am yeah background noise ma'am still coming is it there still no ma'am interesting ma'am can you be uh, little softly can you speak students are getting voice is it okay now okay Move our soft skills. So, soft skills allow us to effectively and efficiently use our technical knowledge. Okay, technical skills and technical knowledge. They improve the way that we interact with our bosses, co-workers, and also customers and clients. They permit us to get our work done on time because time management is taught when we are dealing with soft skills. Uh, it consists of uh, the sub elements of soft skills that time management is also one of them they influence how we feel about other jobs and how others perceive us the demand for and reliance on soft skill is on the increase due to constant change in the work environment nowadays customer driven market is there and information based technology and globalization because of that we have uh, there is a change in the uh, it is uh, because of the intense competition that we are having for many available positions people are very well managed well uh, presented these days and on the other hand um, it is not so developed in some people because it is very uh, expensive skill people think uh, to learn to be how having soft skills properly so some segment of uh, the, the teaching uh, i mean areas they concentrate more on soft skills and some concentrate more on hard skills but if we have hard skills along with soft skills there is nothing like uh, i mean in, there is no stopping to success okay they are the skills tended to be more closely related to the actual task being performed every single occupation you can think of these days demands that you have a specific character traits important thing no, to note is that soft skills are transferable between occupations while you may have to go back to school to learn new technical skills if you change careers you can always take your uh, soft skills with in uh, with you since they are valued in a variety of fields you don't have to attend a regular 9 to 4 college to learn soft skills or you should you you need not leave your uh, main course or the main Uh, degree that you are doing into just go and learn like you can take it as a uh, part time course and you can always learn it or if you have not taken a part time course also with your research and your good uh, uh, performance being a good human being you will learn a lot of soft skills okay so soft skills uh, be a computer wiz a scientific genius or a master of mathematical theories to be successful you to be successful uh, you need more than just expertise in your given specialty according to the national association of colleges and employees nais 
when participating employers were asked to name the attributes they seek in candidates they gave their highest score to the following three traits they were asked which what qualities do you want in your uh, in your candidates in your future first prospective employees so they said written communication skills first the one thing they want is that they want uh, their candidates to then problem solving abilities problem solving skills they must have 80 to 80% of uh, the employees said that they must have written communication 80% 80.9% uh, said that problem solving skills ability, ability to work in team the employees have these characteristics great interestingly technical skills are 59% so soft skills are broadly classified as a combination of personality traits behaviors and social attitudes that allow people to communicate effectively then collaborate and successfully manage conflict because uh, when we are working in in groups in surroundings we have we come in uh, contact with so many types of people different types of people how to communicate with them how to, we we taught we taught you about cultural differences differences in the way the people are brought up okay socio economic statuses of the people so by understanding by understanding going through these barriers we come to know about the differences of the people and how to work by overcoming those when many people come together they will have difference of opinion not to have difference about individual but rather about the opinion and how to come over by discussion by communicating many of the problems can be solved by just communicating uh, about the problem by discussing what went wrong where it went wrong by just communicating who communicates a good a uh, presenter a good communicator or a person with good communication skills takes the initiative to com uh, communicate isn't it so the problem over there is solved the person must have the ability intelligence he must have the problem solving skill first to find out where the problem is lying what the problem is then find out what the solution is there for this problem how can it be rectified what are the things that one has to um, carry out what are the things that one has to change in a person's personality so that these changes can be uh, brought in a positive direction can be molded in a positive direction so this uh, these things will benefit an individual's self development or uh, social skills a person with uh, strong uh, soft skills uh, situational awareness emotional intelligence if he has will navigate difficulties in working environment while still producing positive results how to work in pressure important for leadership positions because good leadership is more important in managing people and directing their efforts towards the desired outcomes than bringing any specific or technical uh, skills to to bear are you able to see the screen to change this
Yeah. Can you see here? Verbal communication. Your ability to talk to anyone. How to talk politely. You have that initiation. Break the ice. When you are sitting in a place, just normally sitting, how to initiate conversation? Verbal communication. When you are in a classroom, you have a doubt. You ask the question. Framing question. Communicating verbally through a spoken word. Okay. Bold enough to take the initiative to start the conversation. Presentation skills. You know what presentation skills are? We, we had uh, lengthy discussions on this. Uh, listening abilities. A good listener is always a good person. Public speaking. To convince other people. All the habits. Presentation skills and public uh, speaking go hand in hand. Actually, one must have proper humor. Please so talk softly. No, please. Ma'am, sir, interview, interviewing and writing as you see in the syllabus uh, on the on the slide. Interview ability, how to perform your interviews in a, a very nice manner, in a professional way, how to present yourself in a proper manner. Uh, by going and uh, I mean being present there before time uh, going in a good attire going with your proper document performing when you answer in the word if you are asked to write uh, an article or a note about something you are able to do that So one must have leadership qualities. It is not that only leaders who are leaders should take initiative. Every one of us has. I have a schools of thoughts which believe that some believe, one school of thought believes that leaders are born. Another believes that leaders are created. Others believe that circumstances create we have to have, each one of us must have some kind of leadership skills to take initiative at their own level. So companies want employees like that who can supervise and direct other workers. They want employees who can cultivate relationship up, down and across the organization. Leaders must assess, motivate, encourage and discipline workers and build teams, resolve conflicts and cultivate the organization's desired culture. So here we want this leadership uh, skills or, or traits must be learned through. This is taught by soft skills. How to motivate other people. It is not that we ourselves are just motivated and we are performing our duties. We must encourage other people also to do better and uh, we have to also uh, encourage other people to perform better discipline other people's life discipline other workers build teams building team and maintaining team is very important task when you are building a team it might require you uh, a lot of uh, uh, scrutiny like you scrutinize people in you are you are scrutinizing their uh, SWOT analysis is being done. You are recognizing their strength, weaknesses and trying to making bring them in groups. Okay. So here uh, you are utilizing your uh, your far, far, far sightedness. Okay. Here understanding how to influence people and accommodate their needs to an essential element of the is an essential element of the leadership. Too many companies overlook when they place someone with the most technical expertise in a position of authority.
So teamwork, building team and maintaining team is very difficult, difficult task because they have difference of opinion. By resolving all these differences, if a person is able to retain that, build that team and maintain that team, he or she must be having very good leadership skills. Then teamwork, how to distribute the team according to uh, distribute the team and work to the team should be learned by each and every individual. How to... Uh, uh, a lot allocation of work according to the SWOT analysis again according to the capabilities of the uh, individuals that they are there. equal distribution of work nobody should be left to, uh, prejudiced or uh, one should not feel as if though uh, they are they are being secluded or something. equal distribution of work must be there so some most are parts of the department division and even who, whom those are not on, the, on an official team need to collaborate with other employees collaboration people are very good at working for themselves when they are alone they are good at working but when they are asked to work in a team they are, they are not uh, trained for that they cannot do work so this will not do, isn't it? That's why you must learn how to work uh, in company, how to work with others, how to be tolerant to the other people's mistakes, how to try to get over those uh, mistakes and how to effectively uh, work for the betterment of your organization. You may prefer to work alone. But it's important to demonstrate that you understand and appreciate the value of joining forces, working in partnership with others to accomplish the company's goals. Uh, this shows that you possess the soft skills necessary to engage in uh, productive collaboration. That's how one can progress in life. Then they have the communication skills. If you have proper communication skills, non-verbal verbal communication as well as non-verbal visual communications, ability to relay information using pictures and other visual aids, active listening is one of them, uh, and helps listen to actually what, what are the instructions that are coming from the other side. If you are a good listener, it will teach I mean, save your time as well as your team's time. If you have listened effective, efficiently, effectively, your, your time will be saved. You will start the, the remaining time will be uh, focused on performing the task rather than going back and again asking for uh, the things that you have missed out while, uh, while you were... Uh, being instructed to do something. If you are attentive, that time will be saved. Okay, that's how good listening will help you. Problem solving abilities. Many people get so disgusted, so baffled by uh, the by facing the problems that their brains doesn't work sometimes. So trying to keep up that pace, trying to be calm when uh, somebody is afflicted with problems, uh, soft skills will teach you. They can, may, many people can minimize their problems because they understand, uh, hire, because companies hire employees to solve problems. Glitches, bumps in the road, and learning opportunities. The ability to use your knowledge to find answers to pressing problems and formulate workable solutions will demonstrate that you can handle and excel in your job. Discussing mistakes and what you learn from them is an important part of building soft skills resume. Work ethics. Yes. 
while uh, you may have a manager, uh, companies don't like to spend time micromanaging employees. They expect you to be responsible and do the job you are getting paid to do, which includes being punctual. When you arrive at work, meeting deadlines and making sure that your work is error free and going to extra mile shows that you are committed to performing your work with excellence here work ethic is that if you are if you are given some task to perform what is it required of you you are supposed to do that work give the submit the work on time that is work ethics if you say on the deadline that you forgot to do the work what does it tell you tell us about you it tells that you are negligent you are not interested in the job or you are a ruthless person so you, you need to learn to do be meeting deadlines time management okay flexibility and adaptability they want workers who can also shift gears or change direction as needed organizations have become less hierarchical and agile over the last decades because the salaries have increased a lot they don't want to mm, i mean make higher officials lower officials like that the hierarchy they do not want all the work is done by uh, the the people themselves uh, more important than ever for employees to be what of uh, personal life that is both personal as well as professional life mm. you can show the difference that time management flexibility uh suppose you don't have these skills it is never too late to develop them you can always uh, start developing your soft skills for example you can learn a lot by observing other people within your company who excel in these uh, areas how you can learn the soft skills by observing the people and listening to others how they are performing how they are doing how they are talking what they are talking okay uh, after offering uh, to take on some more responsibilities at work serving on communities uh, committees planning etc can help you gain valuable experience uh, also consider taking online soft uh, skills courses developing emotional intelligence what is emotional intelligence how you react to a particular situation how well developed is your emotion are you being childish towards the uh, particular scenario are you uh, trying to behave in a manner that is not required of you at that particular situation will 
uh, will tell you how much uh, emotionally intelligent you are. Will make you a more valuable employee and increase your chances of career success if you are very emotionally intelligent. Employee assessments can also reveal areas where improvements could be made, making it easier to put together uh, this uh, development plan to address those needs. People often focus specifically on technical skills and competencies while planning their development, but they, some people neglect uh, soft skills and can make it difficult to succeed in future positions. So, because a person with uh, more soft skills, uh, social interaction, and in other words, just about uh, any leadership position will be had by a well-maintained social skill person. So personality with integrity, discipline, acceptance, dedication, uh, interpersonal skills, communication skills, leadership qualities must be there. Time management will be the stress management. It comes under emotional intelligence. Mm, uh, the kind of attitude one has, whether its attitude is attitude is positive or negative. Whether whether a person is optimistic, pessimistic, whether he is or she is an opportunist or not, win-win situation. Keep the end in mind. Synergize. Okay. Then we'll talk about uh, the different personalities that uh, are there. I think time is up.